Hey, this is a ponded area on another flat roof that has several of these areas. And you can see it's been repaired several times with uh, emulsion and mastic and silver coating. It has basically all three of those products on it. That will remove, remove all, the, uh, all the loose pieces that are uh, on the substrate. So once all the all the loose debris and the and the dust is off of it, we apply the the sure clean soap. Do it so we can scrub all the oils and any of the chemicals out of the base, and then we'll uh, just scrub it a little bit with uh, with one of the Get push the oils brooms. and anything that will keep the material from sticking off of there. Once the water has been uh, the soap's been rinsed off of there. If it's a repair, we've got to do right away. If we don't have a lot of time to wait because we're not doing anything else except that repair, we'll use a, a sponge like a tile grouting sponge or a, um, a masonry sponge and we'll just absorb all the standing water that's on there. So now that the, uh, the area has been cleaned and the sun's shining on it, so it's, it's damp but it's not wet, uh, we can go ahead and apply the, the coating. So the idea behind this is to, to put the coating down and while the coating is still wet to roll the fabric into it, embed it in there and then put a top coat on the, on the fabric. So this will sandwich the fabric into the coating and here it to the roof. So once the first width is put down and is, is top coated and you do your overlap like you do on, on every other type of uh, product. So you, you lap, you want at least a two, maybe a three inch lap to overlap the fabric onto the, onto the next part of the, of the repair or the, of the roof system. You can see now he's, he's put the bottom coat on, he's overlapped the fabric approximately three inches and he's continuing to embed the, the fabric with coating. So the coating that's under it gets pushed through and the coating on top of it is adhered to the fabric so it's basically penetrated all the way through the fabric, which is what makes this such a durable system. As you get down to the end where you're either gonna cut the fabric because you're at the end of your repaired area or at the end of a run, uh, we basically use industrial scissors. They're only a couple of bucks. They have stainless steel blades and it cuts easy that way or you can you can cut it with a utility knife. Uh, it's, fabric's easy to work with.